So this video is gonna be pretty funny to make because I took a pretty big L on this. Okay, usually I make fun of people who get scammed. I'll make fun of them. I shouldn't say that. That sounds a little bit mean. But I usually think to myself, like, how are you so dumb? Like, how could you be dumb enough to get scammed? Like, it's so big now. Like, almost every scam method is, like, you know, known nowadays. You know what I mean? That it's kind of like, I don't know. I kind of thought it would just not happen to me. But it was kind of a funny way. And you'll see how in my story... Uh, I don't think I got scammed like a dumb way. I trusted somebody that usually you would think that you could trust. Like if you knew them for like years and you're really good friends with them. So yeah. So I mean, hey, if you guys don't want to get scammed, you guys can go to CSGOScamalert.com. It's a friend of my site. It's really cool. It has like all the like sites that are scammed or like warning. They're pretty much scammed, but he can't call them a scam directly. So he puts them as like warning and basically that red means don't click on them and just avoid those sites so if you see some shady ass site you can just double check on his site and if it's legit like csgonade.gg yeah that is legit and you click on it and you use his promo code i guess but i would probably just use unique that's probably more profitable use promo code unique on csgonade okay I, I i didn't even get paid for that plug it's just i think it's a good website and since we're on the topic of scams might as well bring it up either way so this story is pretty it's pretty cool i've been holding off on telling you guys this for about a few months you might have seen the tweet about it the tweet was about in september my man this happened a while ago it's just i wanted both of us to kind of forget but i didn't forget so the friend of mine i'm not gonna say his name because i'm not a douche but either way he knew where i lived he knew my name he could give a lot of info he could leak my phone number but I changed all that stuff and I wanted him to wait. So yeah, like he lives close to me. I don't know why you would scam somebody who lives close to you, but whatever flows your boat, dog. Either way, I'm gonna give some back context to this, okay? I'm gonna tell a whole story beginning to end. You gotta listen, you gotta pay attention. Grab your popcorn, okay? You ready? Let's hear the biggest L, okay? So let's give this guy a name no i'm not gonna give him a name that's cringe i know a lot of story time youtubers do that okay so this friend i met online it was in a csgo game it was me and my irl friend dan he's been in a few of my videos i play with him a lot he's an irl friend of mine and so we went in csgo this was like two years ago bro this was literally probably this time two years ago somewhere around here so give or take a few about two years and so we're in a CSGO game. It was on cash. And I remember we had this friend of mine who scams me and his IRL friend and then some random ass dude with no mic. We all know that random ass dude with no mic. Like, let's be honest. There's always one of those people. Anyway, so we win the game and we're just working as a team really, really well. So we decided to add each other. And one day, it was probably a month or two has gone by since then. And I just, I don't know, I was uh, solo queuing and I just kept getting raped. And I was like, hey, wanna play? Uh, and he's like, yeah, sure. So we got in, I think it was TeamSpeak back then is what we use. Now we use Discord, like everybody uses Discord. But either way, I got in his TeamSpeak and we were cool. We were working together again, we kept winning and we became really good friends. And then we just started playing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And keep in mind, I was still in high school at the time. So like we would just come home and grind CS. Like it was like me, Dan and him or just me and him just grinding CS all day. We were like no life in it. It was terrible. And then it kind of got to where I was like 5k subs. Like this dude's been in some of my old Twitch live streams. Like dude, when I used to get like one or two viewers, uh, he's been in some old YouTube streams where I probably had 10 people watching me. You know what I mean? So he's in there. Like he's been old on the channel, a good friend of mine. And like when we were playing and talking in team speak we realized that we live like 15 or 20 minutes away from each other and we like know people that like we know like so we're like we know a lot of mutual friends and stuff so it was actually pretty cool either way i'm ranting on let me continue the story so it was about when i hit 5k subs we kind of just like we went from playing a lot to like once a month twice a month he just got really good at csgo and started taking it like uh what is it called semi pro i guess you could call it like he had a team and stuff and he was like really good i think he was global 
on his main and then he like played ESEA and stuff. But yeah, so he like took that professional and he didn't, you know, really want to play with me too much. But uh, he would play with me on his smurf sometimes. Either way, I didn't really care. It's what it is. But, you know, he, he wasn't scamming me back then, okay? Either way. So it was about springtime last year when we stopped talking, really. Like, we'd play, like, once in Blue Moon. So he's still a friend of mine, but not, like, a good friend anymore. So, like, he just kind of, like, fell off the earth for a while. Like, I have not talked to this man in months. And I just randomly saw him get online one day. It was in September or late August, one of the two. And... I was like, yo, what's up, man? It was me, Butter, TCK, and Dan, and we wanted another person. And I was like, wanna play with us? And he was like, nah, I'm in a game right now. Then this is my last game, and then I'm getting off. And I was like, oh, okay, that sounds good. And he's like, hey, nice inventory, by the way. And I was like, hey, thanks, man. You like it? And he's like, yeah, I really like those gloves. And he's like, wanna let me have some skins for a game? And I mean, back in the day, I would give him like red lines and stuff. Like if I had two red lines, I'd just let him play with a red line and he would always send it back. And it was no big deal, you know? So I'm like, yeah, sure, dude, what do you want? Make an offer. Uh, I'll probably get off after this as well. Just send it back to me when you're done. It'll probably be in the morning when I accept it. And he's like, sounds good. And he sends an offer for these gloves. They're about 150 bucks. And then a knife that was, I don't know. I want to say near hundred bucks. I think it was a flip doppler. I'm really not too sure. I don't have the trades. I tried to save images of the trades. Like I tried looking, but you guys got to keep in mind. I gamble a lot. I, I make a lot of trades, cashing out skins, bringing in skins to gamble. I'm not finding that trade from like months ago, my dude. That's almost four months ago. I'm not finding that. So sadly, I don't have any, you know, picture of it. But yeah, that's what he took and there was no problem. We played the next day. He was on a stream of mine. Then the next day, he was still in the stream. He was talking to me, Butter and TCK. And then he just, like, he just vanishes again. And I hit him up randomly. It was like four days after, five days after. I didn't want to be like, hey, could I have my gloves back? Because it really wasn't a lot of money uh, to get, like, all worked up about. If it was, like, 1K plus, maybe. But, you know, it was, like, 200 bucks, 250. Like, it's like, yeah, you want your money back, but... I'll just be patient. I'm not going to make a big deal about it. He's a friend. He'll probably give it back to me, right? No. I was wrong. Either way. So I'm like, hey, want to play? And he's like, yeah, sure. When I get out of school, I'll play with you. And then I wait a few days. I'm not going to bug him. And then I ask him straight up because I was like, okay, what the hell is going on? So I'm going to message him on Steam this time. And I can't find him on my friends list. I'm looking, I'm looking, and he's not my friend anymore. And then I go on to his Smurf account, and I try and add it, <laughs> and he blocked me. Let's go, dude. He blocked somebody he knew for almost two years for $250. I would understand if it was 2K, 2.5K, 5K, 1K, not even 1K. I, okay, I, I would understand from like 2.5K and up. Like, you're, you're, you're a piece of garbage, but like, I understand, but really for 250, come on, man. I found that funny. I didn't really get worked up about it. You boom ganged me for 250 bucks. So yeah, I took that out right there. I didn't get sweated about it. I made the tweet and that's kind of where we are now. Let's fast forward. Literally maybe now, now we're in present time. I'm recording this now subtract two weeks when we were good friends you know he would make little like videos so he would like post like if he got a nice clutch on csgo so like he would show me the videos and stuff and i'll sub to it you know and i saw a notification like that he uploaded so i comment lol on his video just like i, I don't know i don't know i was being retarded i was just trying to troll him and he replied like oh add me back bro i'll probably throw up a, a picture right here and then he basically went on to say that like oh he didn't mean to block me i was just using a cancer name and whatever so i just was like whatever so i finally made the video because i thought it was pretty funny and kind of sad kind of i don't know you guys should take a lot from this hey don't be a douche don't don't scam people for 250 if you're gonna scam them scam them for no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding don't scam anybody it's bad but don't be like this guy okay he's just he took, like, I took an L, but he also took an L, okay? So we kind of, like, are in the same boat, but he did it scummy way. I just took an L because I was too nice. But either way, I learned from it. I found it funny, and I thought I'd share it with you guys because I don't want to just upload gambling videos every day. 
So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please, just be more careful, you know what I mean? But, either way, if you guys did enjoy this video, if you think I took an L, if you found this funny, enjoyable, whatever, please drop a like, subscribe if you want to see more content, and let me know what you guys thought of this in the, in the comment section down below. Anyways, I really hope you guys don't get scammed, and have a nice day. Peace, peace. Bye.